There's a lot of history behind where I am today. My dad was born with brittle bones. With real bone disease, you get a 50% chance of having a child with the disease as well. I mean, I've broke my legs about 26 times in total. I've had eight operations. Um, that's just to straighten them up, put nuts and bolts in to hold my bones together. But, you know, I'm actually really lucky. At least I can still walk. Whilst I was in high school, the kids would like take my bags, they'd empty them everywhere, they'd put them up on the projector. And I'm only two foot tall anyway, so I couldn't reach anything. And they used to throw things at me. They just hated me because I was in a wheelchair. Like, it wasn't the worst childhood in the world, but it was just a little bit lonely, I suppose. I still remember the first time I hit a tennis ball. I just turned three. I was in like the tiniest wheelchair ever. I had this pink plaster on because I'd broken my leg. When I was 12, 13, I started going on tennis camps. I was just like, yay, people in wheelchairs who aren't going to take the mick out of me. I love my dad because he's amazing and he never pushed me to play tennis, but he always guided me in that way because he's been a Paralympian himself. He won a bronze medal in the 1984 Paralympic Games. He saw that I had talent and um, I think he just thought it would be wasted if I didn't give it a go. When I was 14 years old, I became the youngest person ever to win the national championships. And then I went to the junior masters and I won that three years in a row. In London, I managed to get my bronze medal, which was like the best moment of my life. I remember just crying, like tears of joy that it was just over and I could get off the court. I've got massive biceps and really broad shoulders and I've got this kind of triangle body going on. I could break someone's hand with my handshake. <laughs> it's not easy when you've got all your friends going out clubbing, they've got these little mini skirts on, they've got these great legs. And as a teenager, you're just like, oh, well, I want perfect legs and I want to be tall. Those little things that I really wanted but couldn't have. At the end of the day, I can't change the fact that I've got scars on my legs, so there's no point getting upset about it. I've won three Grand Slams in 2014 so far. The Australian Open, the French Open and Wimbledon. If I was to win the US Open, it would be the first time a British athlete, able-bodied and wheelchair, who have ever won four consecutive Grand Slams in one year. So it would just be huge. I'm not ashamed to say that I've got a lot of flaws, but I can't change it, so get on with it. I just feel like you should just be the person that you were born to be and live on. <laughs>